<laughs> Hi guys, I hope you're having a splendid day out there, and welcome back to... Let's learn Swedish! Yeah, for Tucson! <laughs> this is the second episode in this Vidme exclusive Swedish lesson series of Swedishness. You know it, 100%. So in this episode, we're going to talk about how to count from 1 to 100 in Swedish. You guys who know how to count from 1 to 100 in English, this lesson's not gonna be super hard, because the logic of counting in Swedish is pretty much similar to the way that you count in English, for example. So it's not like the logic of counting in, for example, Danish or French, where they have a different type of system of counting. Now what could be a, potentially a little bit more difficult is the pronunciation, and that is what I want to go through today. Because I'm pretty sure that if you're learning Swedish from a textbook or in school, you're bound to meet the numbers in the Swedish language. We're not gonna focus too much on what the numbers are, but rather how to pronounce it like a Swede. So to count from 1 to 100 in Swedish, you actually only need to know the numbers 1 to 20. And I'll get into why that is in a moment. But before we do that, let's learn the numbers from 1 to a 20. To a 20. To 20. That's how you say it. Uh, you can have an English lesson with me later on, but for now, we're gonna go through Swedish. So the first number in Swedish is ett, but it could also be pronounced en. As for all of you who are trying to learn Swedish, you know there are two different ways to say a car and a tree. En bil, ett träd. So it's the same thing for the first number. You could either say ett or en. So means same thing, but your choice. Which one do you want to use? And then you have två, tre, fyra, fem, sex. <laughs> really funny, guys. So immature. Yes, it's sex. That's how you pronounce that, that number. It's also the, the other word. It means it's so, so immature, okay? And then we come into the, to the number which I think most people will stumble upon because it's, it's pretty difficult to pronounce, but it's sju. Sju. It's almost like you're sju, sju, blowing out a candle or something. I've talked about this sound in a video over at YouTube. I will try to link that video in the description below. So if you want to check that out, please do that. In that video, I try to talk about that sound and how I think that it's not that difficult to pronounce once you get a hold of it. So be sure to check that out. But now let's continue on to the next number, which is åtta, nio, or you could actually pronounce it nio. I think that school books will tell you that it's pronounced nio. But, you, but, but I think it's my dialect probably. In Stockholm you say nio or nio. What, what, whatever you want to use. Nio, nio. And then tio or tio. It's up to you, up to you. You, you can choose. Tio, tio. So that, that's one of the most interesting part about this, the, the ways of counting here in Sweden. That there are different ways of pronouncing things and they are all correct. We're continuing on to numbers which I don't have hands for. <laughs> so. Elva, tolv, tretton. Here you can hear that it's pretty much similar to the English version of 13, which is tretton, 13, and then you have fjorton, femton, sexton, sjutton, arton, nitton, and finally, tjugo which could also be pronounced 20 or 20. It all depends on who you are, why you are, and how you are. But you can use them however you want, pretty much. I would probably say 20 or 20. I have a probably mixed them now when I think about it, but it's a probably a good thing to know that if you're listening to a school book or maybe a teacher teaching you, that person is gonna tell you that it's 20, but it could also be pronounced 20 or 20. Good to know. So now when we know the numbers from 1 to 20, we can just combine them. Just exactly like English. 21, you have 21. Here you have 21. It's not, it's not harder than that. It's, it's, it's just, just like a breeze in the wind. And here again, you can say 21, 21, 21. Depends on who you are and how you want to pronounce it. 
Another interesting thing is that we Swedes, we like to cut letters. Just go to the end as fast as possible. So in this case, it's pretty common to actually skip the G and the O in Shugo when you say the number 21. So instead of saying Shuguet, you say Shuet. So if you learn that, you will sound pretty Swedish to me. <laughs> At least to me, I don't know. So I'm gonna continue saying 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. It goes pretty fast. If I were to go the school book way, it would be 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It sounds like a horse galloping. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. <laughs> and then we reach the number 30, which is Trettio, which is pretty much three tens. Trettio. But we say tretti or trettio. Trettiet, trettitvå, trettitre, trettifyra, trettifem, trettisex, trettisju, trettiåtta, trettinio, fyrtio. Four tens, fyrtio. Fyrtien, fyrtitvå, fyrtitre, fyrtifyra, fyrtifem, fyrtisex, fyrtisju, fyrtiåtta, fyrtinio. 50 or 50. I would say 50 because it takes less of time. So you, you want that, right? 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 60 or 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 70. Said that like 500 times now. Okay. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. And here's the, I think it's the most difficult number in all of the numbers from 1 to 100, which is 77, 78, 79, 80, or 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. 90 or 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 100 that's how you say 100 100 oh you don't have to say 100 you can just say 100 so there you go you can now count from 1 to 100 in swedish it's pretty pretty straightforward actually there's a, a few bits and parts that once you get a hold of it, then it all just sorts out. And from 100 and upwards, it's pretty much the same thing. Well, won't get into that in this episode, but if you want me to do that, then please say so. What I want you to take home with you today is the fact that the way you're being taught how to count from 1 to 100 in school books, or maybe in school, I don't know is often referring to the formal way of pronouncing it. In no means was the intention of this episode to teach you the actual numbers all the way from 1 to 100, but rather how to pronounce them in a more Swedish or less formal way, in a more general tone or a general way of pronunciation. I hope you learned something about that today. I also hope that you had a splendid time here together with me, because I had a splendid time together with you. And until the next time I see you and your pretty face, I hope you have a splendid day. Bye!